Hey guys, it's Emma here. So today I'm going to be doing a video on home school Q&A video. Um, today I'm just going to be show telling you about what the home school rules, what I do. Um, so let's go. So moving on to home school rules um, in in England. It, in England, me, me and my mum just sent in a letter and she could homeschool me um, but in some cases in England and Scotland you do need to get permission but that's it's very rare in some cases but we just had to send in a letter and we could start homeschooling. Um, my mum will write in the description um, what the cases are in England. After you register, it's your parents' responsibility to take care of your education. Um, you don't have, we get visits, um, you can get visits every year, or if you don't want to get visits, you can just send in reports. Um, I've been visited, we've, vis we've been visited twice, um, and we'll probably get another visit in a few months. Um, but you also, you can, you don't have to follow the curriculum um, if you take out of school, but we do. So you you can do GSSCs, you, you don't have to, but I am, I think. And you also can go to college, the homeschool, the college is actually quite like um, the homeschool kids because they're quite independent. Lots of homeschool kids go on to do A-levels and university. And obviously, once you're homeschooled, you, your parents have to take care of your education and you don't get any financial support on homeschooling. So you have to buy all the books, all the GSCs, all the courses. My mum encourages me to find out information myself and researching. <clears throat> like when I got my camera, um, I searched up loads of YouTube videos, I read the instructions and that counts as homeschool. So right now it's half term and I'm still doing homeschool. I did a bit, I do, I've been doing most homeschool, uh, most in the mornings um, and the summers and the half terms don't really, all the weekends don't really count for me. And, but I don't have to do the school hours. So I don't have to do it from like nine to three. I can do um, like a morning of homeschool and then we can go cruising in the afternoon or I can do like do cruising in the morning and then homeschool in the afternoon so you can be very flexible with your homeschool and you can do it at certain time what i really like about homeschool schooling is i don't have like hour-long lessons and then move on to another subject i can spend like a whole morning or a, or a whole afternoon on a subject so because i have dyslexia and adhd um, i can just take breaks or go outside for a little while if i if I'm, i need a break from work so one of the questions I get quite a lot is how do I socialise, especially on a narrowboat? The boating community is definitely incredibly friendly. You mostly will probably get stopped and you get to talk to it. You get to talk to a boater or someone on the towpath. So boating and the towpath is definitely very um, socialised. Socialised, and I even made. I've already made some homemade friends and some friends on the way, um, and we're hoping in a few years to be able to go um, like settle down somewhere, and and I can make more permanent friends. Um, so obviously I absolutely love homeschooling. Homeschooling is one of my favourite things ever and I would never want to go back to normal school. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and comment down below if you're a homeschooler and what you like and if you've got any questions. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. So see you later. Bye!